Hey, good Sunday evening, guys. Michael Clark here with BAM Weather, BAMWX.com. And I want to give you the latest now on the forecast for soon to be major Hurricane Milton as it is headed for Florida's West Coast. I want to go through today's data with you, give you the forecast thoughts, the updated thinking, and just kind of bring you up to speed on the latest. This is going to be one of the nastiest hurricanes to ever hit this part of Florida uh, in, in its history, really. I, I do have an interesting comparison from September of 1848 in a hurricane that went through the area with 15-foot 15 uh, 15 storm surge in the Tampa area. Uh, back all the way back to 1848, we, we go to find that. Though I want to get in and show you some of this stuff. Very interesting analysis today. This is a look at radar as of 6 p.m. Eastern Sunday, October 6th. You can see we don't have quite the view of Milton just yet. We have rain and a lot of it going on across southeast Florida. We want to look at um, a couple of different things here. The, the one thing I'm noticing is our probability tool for rain to exceed 5 inches in 48 hours uh, is certainly starting to ramp up. Uh, this is, uh, again, this is a, a lot of rain right now. We're forecasting at least the potential here for, uh, we'll turn the, the location by point tool off here for me, and I'll zoom back in. And again, you can see just south of Bradenton, 55% chance of, of rainfall to exceed five inches of rain in a 48-hour period. Um, we've got a lot to discuss, guys. It's going to be a, a really, really nasty storm. Latest infrared satellite imagery here from Milton it is a Category 1 hurricane right now. It's running ahead of schedule in terms of when we thought it would become a hurricane. Um, imagery here, courtesy of tropicaltidbits.com. You can go and check out that stuff there and, and check this out all out for yourself. But uh, really starting to see um, some organization take place, some intensification start to happen here. As I think this is going to continue to happen here uh, overnight. And, and, and listen, uh, I, I think by 24 hours from now, we're... We're, we're into a, a major hurricane, Category 3 hurricane. National Hurricane Center agrees. This is the National Hurricane Center forecast issued at 5 o'clock. Again, the current intensity of, as of my video was 85 mile per hour winds, 983 millibars pressure, and it is located out here in the southwestern portion of the Gulf of Mexico. Okay, These purple dots here you can see from the Hurricane Center uh, indicate that we are looking at a Category 4 hurricane. All right, And a Category 3 hurricane at landfall, hour 72 here. That would be Wednesday at uh, at 5 p.m. Okay. Just a reminder here, guys. This is the uh, hurricane wind scale from NOAA. Um, the the category four hurricane um, would would again cat categorizes catastrophic damage. Um, high end is 156 mile per hour wind. So in order to get to that category five um, level, you know uh, you, you've got to get 157 or higher. We just hope that doesn't happen. I think for a time out in the Gulf, it can be a Category 5 hurricane. All right. Let's talk about the trend of, of where we think this is going. All right. This is the, tr the forecast trend for Hurricane Milton right now. And I want you to note something, a couple of very interesting points here. First, that's one thing that's very interesting is um, how we, we, we're kind of trending it further south with each run here and then lifting it northward. There's a trough up here. There's a tr there's a trough or there's an area of low pressure um, that that's acting as if kind of digging down here and, and kind of try to pick this up and kind of bring it back northwest a little bit. What the data did today is it trended a little bit stronger with the trough in here. Okay, and the idea is is that 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 has caused the forecast models, all right, to come back northwest a little bit, and you can kind of see that here. You can kind of see what I'm talking about in the latest runs. The black line is the most current run. Okay, the last few runs you can see how they've 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 done this again. We're kind of starting to bring this thing back up closer into that Tampa Bay area. Right now, the Hurricane Center says you know we're hitting Sarasota for landfall, uh, but it's interesting because we need to watch the trough in here. We need to watch and see how strong the trough gets. If it trends deeper and stronger, like the American data has. The, the risk would be for this to come back northwest, and some of the afternoon hurricane models are trying to do that. And we'll, again, I'm going to continue to kind of show this to you. This was the 12Z hurricane models from this morning. I want you to know a large cluster of them really south of Tampa Bay. There's two models north of them. That's the 12Z run, okay? And then if you go and you look at the uh, – pull this up here so I can see this. You, you go and you look at the 18Z hurricane model runs. Look how they've – came back northwest and they're kind of covering up the Tampa Bay area now. 
Uh, so that, that, that shift coming back into the north and west for landfall closer to the Tampa Bay, and um, it, it, it's just not out of the question. There's a huge spread in, in the track uh, in, the, in the inconsistency of, uh, or not inconsistency, but just the uncertainty, if you will, is the right word I'm looking for. Uh, for where this can make landfall. I mean, look, you've got data sets from different weather models all over the world suggesting it could be as far northwest as, as uh, uh, up in here or as far south down the coast as Cape Coral and, or Naples area. Now, do we think that it's at either one of these two locations? Right now, we don't. Okay, I will tell you that some of the best performing hurricane models are really, really, uh, you know, trying to suggest this area right here. And I tell you what, the, the morning European model came back a little further northwest too. So it, there is a 240 mile spread on where the actual eye of this hurricane makes landfall. And I don't want any, anyone to get totally distracted here uh, by the fact that, that you know, um, it, we, we may, this may be weakening when it touches the land. Okay, I know, I know the forecast is calling for a weakening hurricane from a Category 4 to a Category 3. I, I, I would be prepared for it to be a Category 5 when it's a Category 4, and if it's making landfall, the forecast is a 3, it could make landfall as a 4. I don't want us to get caught up in the details of what category this is. It's nonetheless a major hurricane. All right, but the, the thing I'm most concerned with right now is the spread in the data, the best-performing data, the best performing data right now uh, really is in this area right here, um, right where you see that black line, and, and it's just right through here. This is where the best performing data is putting the the, the landfall for the hurricane. So, uh, it, you know, it, there's a there's a probably a 50 mile opportunity here where that's going to be, and we just have to continue to to monitor. We're just not going to have the answers on Sunday evening for a Wednesday night landfall just yet. Um, so, with that in mind. This is the European model's wave height forecast, maximum individual wave height forecast. That is indicating 40 to 50 foot waves are possible out in the Gulf just off the west coast of Florida. Um, it, it, it really, really makes one concerned for uh, a number of things. Storm surge for one. The greatest flash flooding risk right now looks to be in the Tampa Bay area and just north and west of it. Um, Regardless, there's going to be a lot of rain throughout the state. There's also a, a, a significant risk for flash flooding here in southeast Florida as well. But I wanted to kind of look at a, at a previous hurricane uh, real quick. I found an interesting tr a a tweet here from someone named Carrie Mock. I don't know who Carrie is. It's a great tweet. Here's what the tweet said. Milton is similar to Tampa 1848 hurricane ladder. Category 3 to Category 4 storm, a 15-foot storm surge. Um, 1848. The data was was vast at, at best, but from historical data sets of everything they could find, this is where this hurricane went through. It's a major hurricane. It's very, very similar track. Note something very interesting here that, that get, grabs my attention is this hurricane ended up being a little bit just north of Tampa Bay, a little bit further uh, north and west, okay? Um, and it, it, you don't have very many analogs where you can find a storm that originated in the same spot like this one is doing now. If you got to go back to 1848, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's sketchy at best, but I thought, boy, this is very interesting um, to the current forecast. So this is our, our Milton, uh, Hurricane Milton forecast right now, okay? Um, and, and this is what we're thinking. The main thing is this. Like I said a minute ago, as this begins to approach land, I want you to be concerned with storm, a storm surge of, of over a foot, I think, is certainly on the table. Um, that could be low end. Um, major hurricane force winds, 130 mile per hour uh, plus sustained winds going into right. We are just north of the Hurricane Center track in Sarasota. We are riding the line of the Tampa Bay area. Okay. Wednesday around 7, 8 o'clock is when we think this thing makes landfall. Note our map says a 3. It could certainly be a 4 as it makes landfall. Okay. So this is our, 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 our greatest confidence for for landfall again like i said a little bit ago is right in this area right now it really is going to depend on the action from the trough to the north and west we want to continue to monitor that very closely as we get closer uh, with newer data coming in okay so 
Um, nonetheless, this will be a storm to historic proportions to the likes of which we've never seen before for this part of Florida, uh, not in our lifetimes here. Uh, you got to go back to at least the 1920s to have a major hurricane for the Tampa Bay area, and one similar was back to 1848. So um, just Guys, um, spread the word. Pray for these folks. You know, there's not a whole lot that can we can do other than prepare and evacuate and get out of the area and let the storm get through and uh, so we can start working on putting things back together. So that's all I have for today. We'll have another update for you tomorrow. Take care. Stay safe. Okay. Just a reminder.